Hey guys, namaste and welcome back to our YouTube channel Twitter Prabhi. In today's chess session, we are going to learn how to design the paginations. So in this today's chess session video, we will learn how to create a responsive pagination using the CSU and keep a different stylish designs. If you have a website with lots of pages, you may wish to add some sort of paginations to each pages that it makes easier for users to explore your contents of your website. So without skipping the video, please keep watching the video till end. And before we start, if you still haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that it will be notified whenever we publish our new session videos. So let's start today's session. Generally, we have a lot of contents inside our web page. So the best way to present your long contents, you can use the pagination for your those long contents. That's why pagination is very important and today we are going to design this pagination styles in CSS. For this in HTML, I added one heading 2 for the title and for giving the various pagination styles, I added some hyperlinks with the numbering inside one div. Now we have to give some properties for this element that our pagination have a better look. First of all, let's create one class, pagination, and inside it, I'm going to use this pagination class for this div. So, I want to make this display to block. Give the class for this div, class pagination. After that, let's give some CSS properties for our a tag inside of this div pagination. For this, pagination. A and let's give the color black text decoration none and let's make float to left side and let's give some padding values 10 pixel to the top side and 20 pixel for the right side up to now, we have our pagination with some spaces on them. Now, let's give some CSS properties for the active page. For this, that pagination A and give a class active. And let's change the background color to green and change the text color to white. And let's give this active class on this two page class active now we have a background color of green and text color of white for this active page and if you want to give some hover effects for our paginations we can use a property pagination a and to the class hover and let's give some background color have b b b now we have a hover background color on our pagination and when we hover on this active page we can see that its background is also changed according to on this hover effect that we give. But while creating the pagination we don't want to change the background color when we hover on this active page. For doing this we can give the condition for this hovering state after this hover give colon and nut inside the bracket we will give the class active. This makes if that hyperlink is not of this active class, this background color for hover state will not be applied for that hyperlink. Now when I over the mouse on this active page, we can see that there is no changes in background color of this active page. But when I over the mouse on other pages, we can see that the background color has changed to this gray color. Now for looking better, let's give some rounded corners. For this, let's add the property for this pagination a active and pagination a hover. Border radius. Let's give 5 pixels. And let's copy it and give the same value for this hover stitch. Now we have 5 pixel rounded rectangle for our active and hover state of our pagination. 
Now our pagination looks better than before. Let's add some contents after our title. Now almost our pagination style is ready for applying to any of our web pages. Again, we can give some more stylish like giving some borderlines to our then paginations. For this, let's give some border for our attack of this pagination class. Border 1 pixel solid half DDD for break. Now we have the borderlines for our pagination numbers. Now for making the stylish design, we can make the rounded corners for this top left side and bottom left side of this first link and rounded corners for the top right side and bottom right side only of this last pagination number. For doing this, first remove this previous border radius properties from the port. Now for giving border radius properties only for the first and the last pagination we can use dot pagination a pseudo class first child for selecting the first pagination link and let's give the border top left radius to 5 pixel and similarly border bottom left radius to 5 pixel and let's copy this property and paste it and let's change this first child into last child and change border top and bottom left to right side to check more clear let's change the value of our border color to red and let's change the radius value to 15 now we can clearly see that the rounded corners are only applied for the first and the last tile of our pagination. Now let's get some margins for separate our paginations. On our pagination A, let's get margin 0 pixel for our top and bottom and give 4 pixel for our left and right side. And again let's take this red border color into the gray. Now we have another stylish design pagination style for our web page. Now again we can do another things like changing the font size of our pagination. For this, on our pagination A, we will give the font size to 22 pixels. Here in our pagination, our numbers stand centrally aligned, but either it is not aligned to the center we can give the property text align center to make sure our pagination numbers will be aligned to the center of our pagination boxes. Now our designed pagination style is ready for implement any of our web pages of website. In this way, we can design the paginations for our website as per our requirement just using the CSS properties. That's all for today. We will come back soon with new interesting session videos. Until then, take care, goodbye.